Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Now, if you're out there and you've been researching the New Braunfels, Bavarity, Bernie area, and you've thought to yourself, holy crap, that place is expensive. Well, I got a new community that's uh, got some of my favorite builders in it. It's called Legacy at Lake Dunlap. Now, this is on the east side of New Braunfels, so you're not actually in the Texas Hill Country, you're kind of on the grassy plain side. But the prices, this particular house here, this is a hill plan built by Monticello Homes. This house cost over $100,000 more to build in Bernie compared to this community. So if you're getting a little sticker shock, definitely come check out this community. Anyways, uh, like I said, this is a hill plan built by Monticello Home. Let's go on out front and start the tour. All right, this is the Monticello model home right on the end. We got Toll Brothers kind of tucked away behind this tree here. They're another really good national builder. Their model home's almost done. We got the Perry Home model. I've already done a video of it. We got Pulte's Homes. I'm not going to talk about them right now. Uh, another smaller Perry Home and Highland Home. So we've got four really top-notch, high-end production home builders in this community, and they're building these the Monticello Home. They're building on 60-foot lots, so it can be really nice, wide lots. Um, Another big thing is the tax rate. You're looking at 1.65 tax rate here in this community. And you're not too far from New Braunfels, just going down 46. So if you're looking for a bang for the buck, you've got to come check out this community. All right, let's go check out this home. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like button. That really does help out a lot. But Monticello does build a beautiful home, but this is a model home. So they have got a few upgrades built into it. Things like this wall, that they really kind of showcasing what they can do. But Monticello does build a really quality, solid home. All my past clients have never had any complaints about them. Right when you come in, you're gonna have an office off to your left. Now we've got the sales rep in the office right now. But this is a beautifully done home. Uh, the, the beams across, yeah, that's gonna be an upgrade as well. But I do love the French doors and having your office kind of up front of the house. But the uh, let's go around here to the corner and I'm going to start off with kind of the uh, other bedrooms down the side. We do have a full bathroom open to everybody. Oh, uh, pricing on this right now, this house is listed at about 625, but because builders really want to move these units, they're after giving a $30,000 incentives that you can use for whatever you want, whether it's buy the rate down, uh, cost down, closing cost, anything you want to do, it's up to garage, you. Door, open. So, all right, here's their three car garage, plenty of space in it. Yes, this is a model home, so they do have some of their marketing stuff in it. But yeah, nice laundry room and another bedroom back here. Let's check out the closet. Eh, pretty decent sized closet. I do like the fact they got two racks in it for additional space. All right, let's continue the tour. We got another bedroom tucked over here. Now I'm gonna have the plans and layout all at the end of this video. So if you don't have to be with you know, pencil writing all this stuff down. And I'm gonna have the taxes and stuff also at the end of the video. So be patient. We'll get there. All right, nice bedroom set up with, oh, this is a really cool closet here. That's kind of a sliding barn door closet, but a little more depth to it, which is really nice. We're gonna have a Jack and Jill bathroom set up, meaning these two bedrooms share the same bathroom. Shower tub combo. And another good sized bedroom. And let's check out this closet size. It's gonna be this, about the same, a nice deeper closet with plenty of space in it. All right, now we're ready to get ready, get into the main living space. Well, almost, we got this cool flex room slash theater room, whatever you wanted to make it with. I love the fact they've got these French doors on here. Uh, these barn doors, probably once again, a little bit of an upgrade, but you can do what you want to, especially if you're building from dirt but nice to be able to have a space where you can close off the wall, especially if you're watching a game and stuff and your wife doesn't want to hear, hear that, you got space to do that, or a secondary office. So it's really kind of cool. A lot of people work from home nowadays, having a sec two offices is really nice. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, now we're finally at the main living space and I really do love how they separated the dining. Well, we've got two eating places here. It's kind of cool. But look at the detail and the roof and how they kind of framed this all out. That is absolutely gorgeous. But you also have a bigger dining room space over there. So I know what I would do in my house. If y'all don't know about how I do like a little whiskey every now and then, this will become my bar area, my main living space, which is plenty of room for whatever size TV you want to put on that wall. Um, you can put the beams up there, lots and lots of natural lighting and still have plenty of space for however big of a dining room table you want. All right, beautifully done kitchen. Love the fact they got the cabinets going all the way up. Nice quartz countertops. Some of their listings that they have available right there. If you wanted to hit pause, you can click on that. Not gonna forget the pantry, but it's kind of your standard corner pantry. All depends on how many mouths you have to feed. This is a gas community, so we do have our five cooktop burner by GE. They've got the pot filler upgrade in there. And they've got the granite composite sink in there, which these sinks are big enough to put the extra skillet in there. I kind of prefer the 70-30, but I do, I have a granite composite sink in my house and I absolutely love it. It's so much easier to keep looking new because it doesn't scratch like stainless steel does. All right, let's go and head on outside. All right. 60 foot lots, so there's gonna be some nice width to these lots allowing you to put up these bigger houses. And yes, a house that's over 3,000 square feet is a pretty good sized lot, I mean, house on it. And we do have construction going on. Uh, Monticello also does use the zip system to wrap their houses. That's where you see the green uh, wrap around them. That's gonna make the house a little more wind resistant, water resistant, and both of them, uh, you don't want to have uh, too much of that. Water is the enemy of your house. So anything you help do to waterproof and soundproof. Notice it got real quiet now. All right, now let's head on into the master bedroom. Eight foot doors throughout. So that's always nice, especially if you've got a single story house with taller ceilings on it like this one does. You definitely want to have eight foot doors because when you see kind of the standard height doors, it kind of just takes some of the wow factor off the house. But speaking of wow factor, I like what they did with the uh, back of the bed there. But yeah, tray ceilings in here. Once again, lots of natural light and plenty of space. You see it's a king size bed, plenty of space for the uh, uh, side shores, brain farting. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what they are. Leave in the comments and I'll be like coffee table, end tables. Brain farting, it happens sometimes. All right, but we do have French doors leading into here. Uh, with I love how they have this framed with a bathtub, the window in the shower, and the little mini chandelier thing. That looks so nice. All right, we do have two vanities, and they are adult height vanities. When you go for the less expensive houses, uh, sometimes they'll put those vanities that are just real cheap and you have to bend over. My back doesn't work like it used to. Uh, thank you, military. Uh, but yeah, I don't like to bend over. But we do have a mud inset shower, meaning it's kind of put cut into the, cut, the foundation a little bit. Took the tile all the way off. Oh, and I love that I got two different tiles in here. I haven't quite seen that before. We got two different styles. All right, let's check out this closet. I believe we're gonna have a his and her closet. But yeah, plenty of space in here. Let's go see if there's another closet. I haven't like previewed this house just yet. So, but I'm pretty sure, or that might be the water closet. That might've been the only shower. Yep, there's the toilet. And of course, toilet seats up. Just my luck. There we go. There's the toilet seat. Well, the toilet room. All right, but yeah, enough of my rambling, but this is a beautiful, beautifully done bathroom. I do like it a lot, but that was the one and only master bedroom closet in there. Uh, if you're still with me, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, 
I do these videos hoping to show my value that you guys would reach out to me. Please do. I do hear it all the time that people have come to these new construction homes because they saw me on YouTube and uh, but then they didn't want to use me as a realtor. I want to let you know it costs nothing to use me as your realtor and these builders, especially production home builders like this one is, they don't lower the cost of the home if you're not using a realtor. So if you see value in what I do, please, please uh, reach out to me. It does help out a lot. I want to provide good information for you, but I'm also trying to grow my business. All right, don't click off just yet because I got some great information for you coming up in the next few seconds. If you do decide to use me as a realtor and you're building from dirt, what I'm gonna do is uh, the framing inspection, prior to them putting sheetrock up, that's probably the most important inspection you can do in a house because once that sheetrock goes up, you really can't see things. So if you use me as a realtor to build something from dirt, I will be paying for that framing inspection, the third party inspector to come through and take care of that for you because I really want to make sure you have a quality house being built. Specify me a realtor. Anyways, if you like what I'm doing here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and there's going to be more plans and the tax information, all that's going to be coming in a couple of slides afterwards. My contact information will be on the final slide, but also in the description box. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.